I know you want to fix your mixed credit profile, but you might be missing out on some money. I'm talking about up to a hundred thousand dollars. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to explain why. Sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink. We're going to get straight into it. Spain, TransUnion, Equifax, and these debt collectors are continuing violating people's rights. And nothing's going to change unless we sue them. So I partner up with the lawyer to learn what we can do to knock them out. And this past weekend, we uncovered or we went more in depth on people that have mixed credit profile. And man, people that are junior, senior, twins, or have common names will have different profiles on their credit report that belong to, you know, either their twin or their junior, senior. You understand what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate because you can send letter after letter after letter saying these accounts are not yours, but they will continue verifying, right? And it's unfair to you because it's stopping you from getting the house, the car, or the things that you're applying for. And we went over this case, and what happened was the client that they was helping, their credit profile was mixed up with somebody else that was way, way, way older than them. And as you can understand, there was no way that the client actually opened up the accounts that are on their profile because they wasn't of age. So what the lawyers did was they sent the letter to Experian, they sent the letter to TransUnion, they sent the letter to Equifax, and they continued doing that month after month after month after month and guess what the credit bureaus were doing they continue verify and verify and verify that that person accounts belong to them and as you can understand there was no way so guess what you already know the lawyer dropped it up the lawsuit and knocked them out Hold up, now you see why it's important for you to consult with the lawyer first before you actually do it yourself. And if you do need to consult with the lawyer first, schedule a call, click the link in the description, schedule a call with my team so we can help you partner up with the lawyer if you feel like if you have accounts on your credit profile that doesn't belong to you. And if you haven't checked your credit profile yet, what you wanna do is go to annualcreditreport.com, get your reports from Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, and look to see if you have accounts that are not yours, if you do not have it, if you have accounts that do not belong to you, schedule a call ASAP. Now, if you do have accounts that belong to you, let me walk you through the process of what you need to do to knock them out. When it comes to removing negative items off your credit report, what you want to do is clean up your personal information. Here's why. It's especially if you're trying to buy a home. If you have different variations of your address, what you're going to do is you have to explain why you lived at those specific address. It just makes the process much easier and you have to write an explanation on every single address. Plus you look credible as well, because if you have different variations of your address and, you, and it says that you live in here, there, there. Now if a lender looks at your profile or if they're trying to approve you for something, how do I know this person is stable if they have a hundred different addresses on their credit profile. So what you want to do is just go to Experian, all right? Go to Experian, you can go to TransUnion, you can go to Equifax, you can create a free account online to see the different addresses and to see the different variations of your name. And what you want to do is just um, take all that information and just create a letter um, and, and go ahead and dispute that. And what you want to do is just add two forms of, ident add two forms of identification with your letter and if possible get it certified when you go to the post office the reason why is because experience transunion equifax usually will say that a hey, they never received the letter so to ensure that they received the letter and to have it for your documentation you want to get it certified if you don't know what certification means go to the post office and ask for certified and they will explain the process all right but just take those different names all right those different variations of your name and just put it right here in correct names. If you have variations of your addresses, which you most likely will have, you will put that there as well. And if you have um, inaccurate job information on your credit profile, you will also want to list that here. And one more thing, if you have a spouse on your credit profile, you might not be with a spouse or the spouse might be incorrect on that profile. What you want to do is make sure you update it as well, okay? Now just send that letter, certify. It usually takes, it shouldn't take that long for them to actually fix your information, your personal information. But if they play crazy, another thing you can do is actually give them a call, experience changing the Equifax to actually update your personal information. Or if that doesn't work, 
you can actually file a complaint with the CFPB and I'll go through that process of what I'm talking about to file a complaint. But the next thing you want to do is now send your letter in when it comes to um, fixing your credit profile. What you want to do is tell the like we're doing everything according to the law. All right. We're just doing everything. We're just following the law. So the law is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is 15 U.S.C. 1681. All right. And then 15 U.S.C. 1681 I is based off of um, this specific letter. So what we're telling them to do is make sure everything is complete and accurate. Now, they sure already ensured that everything was complete and accurate, but we're giving them another opportunity to actually make sure everything is complete and accurate. And what do I mean by complete and accurate? The date open, date of last payment, the account balance, account history, the data is supposed to fall off your report, the date of first delinquency. There is so much information on your report that's supposed to be complete and accurate and is probably incomplete or inaccurate. So what we're doing is ensuring and telling them to make sure everything is complete and accurate and what they're supposed to do according to if you read this law 15 usc 1681 i um, 5 they're supposed to update modify those specific accounts or delete it and what typically happens is they will say that they modify their account they will say that they updated the account but if you look at your report if you compare reports let's just say you sent the letter out 30 days ago and now you're looking at it um 35 days later what you're going to see is nothing was updated, but the, nothing was modified, but they will send you back an investigation saying everything was updated, modified, or they might've deleted some accounts. All right. So to do this, you want to, of course, put your name, address. Who are we talking to? Are we talking to Experian? Are we talking to TransUnion or Equifax? All right. You want to have three separate letters. The reason why is because you might have accounts on your credit profile that's not on um, it might be on Experian, but it's not on TransUnion or Equifax, or it might be on TransUnion, but it's not on Experian or Equifax. All right. So just create three separate letters. And how do you get the account name and account number? You could go to Identity IQ and get that if you if you have a um, if you don't have a profile with them, it's a dollar free trial. Or if you don't have the money right now, you can go to AnnualCreditReport.com and go ahead and get those reports. All right. You don't have to have the full account number. You can have one, two, three, four, you know, XX or star, star, whatever that looks like. And just add the name and account number. And what you're telling them to do is just to reinvestigate the completeness of every piece of information. And if it's not accurate, please remove it from your report. Just giving them clear instructions and make sure you add two forms of identification. This letter is free. The link is in the description for that as well. But add two forms of identification. Remember, certify. And then what you want to do is wait 35 days. The credit bureaus have 30 days to complete the investigation and they have five days to actually mail you the investigation of what they found complete and accurate. All right. And typically what happens is right. Three things will happen. The credit bureaus will delete. Like when you get your investigation back, the credit bureaus will either delete your information. You'll get some deletions. Sometimes they will say everything is complete and accurate or they will not respond to you. And sometimes they will actually um, send you a letter saying that, hey, we couldn't verify this is you. This is the reason why you want to make sure you add two forms of identification or if possible, get it notarized. OK, if you get it notarized now, they can no longer say that this sounds like a credit repair company or we don't know if this is you. All right. You get it notarized. That helps that process. Now, if your accounts, let's just assume that's all your accounts or some of your accounts came back verified. Now, the next letter you will want to send is asking them. You want to ask them, how did they verify that account? All right. You can ask them to provide you a description of how they verify those accounts. And what they're, spo what they're supposed to do is provide you a detailed description of how they verify that account. They're supposed to, you know, let you know. And nine times, and they're supposed to provide that to you within 15 days. And nine times out of 10, they don't provide that information. So what do you do next after you send this letter out? All right. So all the accounts that came back verified, you will list that, right? And what you're telling them to do is basically what I said. And now you want to put the account name and account number that was verified. And just tell them to provide your description of the investigation used to verify this account. If you can't delete this account immediately. All right. And then you just want to list all those negative accounts 
for all those accounts i'm sorry all those accounts that were verified and make sure you just send three separate letters all right so wait to if the investigate investigation came back from Experian, complete it and then wait for the ones from transgene and equifax and when those come back send off your next letter okay now after you do that and just wait your time probably like 15 let's just say 15 days they're supposed to do an investigation an additional five days for them to quote unquote mail back the investigation 20 days right if nothing happens now what you will want to do is just file a complaint all right now when you file a complaint with the cfpb this is not guaranteed all right there's nothing guaranteed it just the consumer financial protection bureau has a little bit more weight all right when they actually you know knock on the experience change you in the equifax door or the debt collector's door saying hey check this so usually what happens is um within 15 days after you file a complaint they're supposed to respond back to you all right so here's how you'll um, create your complaint you'll go to google if you don't have an account with them put in cfpb and then once you're there now what you want to do is just scroll down click on start new complaint now what you want to do after you click on start new complaint is just if you don't have an account with them just put your first name last name email phone number create a password confirm and then sign up now if you already do have an um, account all you do is just click on this already submit a complaint or create an account and just log into your uh, account and then let me show you how to file a complaint so now you're going to be on the screen that looks similar to this okay so what we want to do now is just click on credit reporting and now what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom okay click on credit reporting again and just click on next now what's going to happen is the specific complaint that we want to file is problem with company's investigation into an existing proper um problem okay investigation took more than 30 days problem was not notified in the investigation status or the investigation did not fix an error on your report you want to click on that i forgot to tell you if you didn't um if your information was incorrect on your credit report, i mean if the credit bureaus didn't update your personal information or fix it you can actually click on this right here and actually file a complaint so incorrect information on your report and the perfect personal information is incorrect and then you can actually just go on the next page and just tell them what happened and attach your letter all right that's if your personal information wasn't fixed okay now what you want to do is problem with company's investigation um into an existing problem let's go back to what we we're talking about and their investigation did not fix an error on your report okay and have you already tried to fix this problem yes okay we sent the letter in um did you request information no and then now what we want to do is go ahead and create a create a complaint now your complaint should be totally it should be similar but totally different because the date the names of your accounts and everything is going to be totally different what i mean by that that my report back on january 1st 2024 whatever day you looked at your report that's the day and also what report did you look at so i look back at my experience report i look back at my transunion report i look back on my equifax report we're only talking to one credit bureau okay i look back on my credit report on january or experience transunion credit report back on january 2024 and notice some things are incomplete and not accurate all right and according to the fair credit reporting act and this is according to 15 usc 1681 eb Whenever a consumer reporting agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedure to assure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. All right. The accounts that are negative on your credit report, you're going to list right here. Okay. And basically you're saying are not complete and accurate. I sent the letter asking to make sure everything is complete and accurate. And here's my tracking number. Okay. If you don't have a tracking number. Um, just don't add a tracking number. Just remove that part. They sent me an investigation back and said everything is complete and accurate. But if you check my attachments, everything is not complete and accurate. Okay. And you're going to be able to prove your case. And according to this law, like I said before, we talked about this early, earlier, what are you supposed to update, modify? That's what they're supposed to do. And most importantly, and according to this law, and according to this law, they're supposed to provide me a description and they violated that law as well. They didn't do that as they they didn't do that as well and according to this law they're supposed to not furnish any information related to consumer to any consumer report agency if the person knows or has reasonable cause to believe that the information is inaccurate okay that's another violation what would be a fair resolution you would tell them to delete 
um, those negative accounts. All right. So just tell them, put the account, the account name, account number, tell them to remove it from your credit report. Okay. Now the documents you want to attach everything that you sent to the credit bureaus. And if you have a picture of your report or picture of your report where it shows inconsistent, you can actually upload that as well and then click on next. And like I said, who are we talking to? Are we talking to a TransUnion Experian at Equifax? And that's who you want to put right here. Okay. And then from there, if they pop up, um, once they pop up, just put the social name as a pair, date of birth, and then go ahead and fill out that information. And do you want to complain with the co another company? No. Okay. And then click on next. Now you understand the process of what you need to do to remove those negative accounts. Now you have two options. You can either do it yourself and continue going back and forth and back and forth to remove those negative accounts off your credit report. Or if you don't have the time, you know, if you don't feel like going back and forth and back and forth, you can hire my litigation team where we'll do it for you, where we'll collect the violations. It's different now. We'll collect the violations from the credit bureaus and the debt collectors and then put a case together and submit it to the lawyer where he'll then draft up a lawsuit to be able to knock them out. And if there's something that you want, click the link in the description, schedule a call to see how we can help you. You already know, do what we need to do to go ahead and get these violations to knock them out.